composting, not only is it environmentally friendly, but it's economically friendly. Like, I'm going to show you banana peels and tea bags, but it allows you to put it into something like your garden, and it fertilizes it without you having to go out and buy something that's commercially processed. And it also allows you to reduce your um, waste, so that's less money that you have to put into um, garbage disposal. You want a beautiful garden, you ought to be taking advantage of the things around your garden or yard. Now let me show you how to create a compost bin. If you've never done this before, it's really a lot easier than you think. What I'm starting out with here is about a 40 to 50 gallon standard trash bin. And it's important that you get one that has a lid where the lids lock, and I'll explain that in just a moment. And what I've done is I've gone around it and I've drilled these holes all the way around. I've used a three-quarter inch bit and here in the top I've used a half inch bit. And this allows air to circulate through the, the bin itself. And you can see I have it sitting on a pair of concrete blocks. Again for air to get inside the compost which is an important component to making it. Now what you want to do is you want to use green and brown and alternate that. And what I mean by that is green could be any sort of clippings from the garden. Uh, it could be scraps from the kitchen. Now you don't want to put any sort of meat product or cooked vegetables in here, but things like the peelings of apples or carrots, the tops of carrots, that sort of thing, that qualifies as green. You want to chop it up uh, in tiny pieces and throw it in here with some brown. And the brown could be the leaves that you rake up or straw or anything or pine needles that you have. And so by layering those you're adding carbon and a source of nitrogen. Carbon the brown, nitrogen the green. Okay, So you start layering it and then you can turn your compost quite easily just by putting the lid on it, locking it down, and rolling it around. Alright, so this is the finished product. This is the inside of the barrel. Um, I have it lined completely with, with the uh, uh, hardware wire uh, with the, with the uh, plastic ties. All right, so now, now you just we're just going to throw in um, the waste. Um, the key to this is it's like a one-to-one -one ratio. If you put something in that's if you put something in that's wet, you're going to want to put the exact same amount or roughly the exact same amount in that's dry, just so it can absorb the um, the liquid because you want to keep the water ratio about even. So I have some, all of the products that I got from outside are all wet just because we've got so much rain. So I've got some um, leaves and some, some twigs. I'm going to go ahead and scatter them at the bottom. And I have about a little less than a barrel full. I have some rotting um, fruit. Um, I'm using these just because you can really just break it up with my hands. If something was more, I don't, yeah, like this, this is more hard, I would go ahead and cut this up. I wouldn't put it in, I wouldn't put it in whole like this. I'm going to set this aside just because it'll, it'll take a little bit longer for it to decompose. So like this, I can just go ahead and break it up with my hands. You don't need anything real fine, but it's just going to take longer. So I have pears, I have apples, um, I have cut up grass clippings that I have. All this is wet, so that one. I don't have too, too much right now, so I just have my um, leaves and pears and apples down there. I have some um, wood chips. Now this is what the dry component is. You can always put in... Um, just wood clippings. This is really fine shredded wood. Um, I use this for my rabbit's uh, litter box, so I actually just have it on hand, so it wasn't something I really had to go out and buy. None of this stuff you, you have to go out and buy. Uh, I also have, which I'll show you, I just have some newspaper. All this can be decomposed. You just want to make sure that you rip it off. Everything that you put in here you want to make sure is kind of fine. 
it doesn't have to be pulverized or anything, but you just want to make sure that it's, so there's not huge clumps of anything in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and rip this out. Um, okay, so in this bag, this is, now this is the kind of stuff that is really what's cool about the um, compost pile. Like I have banana peels. Go ahead and throw those in there and two of those. Um, I actually work at a ice cream shop, so I have a leftover ice cream cone. I went up, I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there. Um, I have tea bags, that's a really good thing to throw in. And then in here, I just have um, coffee grounds, which is all really great. Um, some more banana peels, tea, bag, tea bags. I'm just going to throw that all in there. Um, and that's about it. Um, you're going to want to stir this up. I'm just going to use, I had these metal clippers that I used. I, did, I forgot to get a, a rake. Um, and you're just going to kind of want to keep this stirred up. Now, I don't have much right now, but um, I'm going to add to it. I'll add, we have a lot of leaves to rake up. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in there. Um, you can leave it out in the rain. The only thing is if it gets really wet, you're going to want to add more dry to it. Um, like I said, you just want to keep the water ratio about the same. Um, if, if you get a lot of rain, since there's holes in the lid, if you get a lot of rain, you're going to want to maybe bring it in and add some, some of this um, wood chips or the um, uh, newspaper clippings. All that's good. Um, and you're going to, the big thing is you want to make sure that you stir it daily. You want to make sure you keep it stirred daily. Um, that's just going to add to the um, decomposing process of your compost pile. Once it gets to where stuff's starting to really, really decompose, you can start adding worms to it. That'll start to eat away at things. And then um, once it gets, it's starting to really decompose, you can go ahead and add it to your garden. Um, this is really good fertilizer and it's um, environmentally friendly. There's no um, toxins in it. So it's really good for pets. And like I said, it's just really good for um, reusing stuff that you've already put invested your money into. So, composting. It's really